guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're doing a pregnancy Q&A because that's been pretty much asked for. Yeah, so we're just gonna knock some, few, uh, knock some questions out for you. Yeah, and sorry, we haven't posted in a while. We honestly don't even know what kind of content to post and he works all the time and it's just... Yeah, our lives are kind of hectic, so. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any ideas of what you'd like for us to post, you can totally comment them down below and like we can take a look at them and see what future content we can make. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's get some questions going. So they're asking when we're due. And we're due March, March 29th. 29th. And that's about a little over a month away. And we're not even prepped, but it's okay. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. Breastfeeding or formula has been a very common question that I've gotten a lot, like even in my TikTok videos all over. So the answer honestly is I do not know. So David, we did formula and we enjoyed doing formula. We had no issues. David's a very healthy boy. We had our baby cure, our baby cure. It's yeah, called baby. a baby breeze. I called it a baby cure, but we loved it. Great experience. Yeah, it so easy. So just making bottles was just simple and yeah. anyone can help. Like he was able to get up and give me a break and vice versa. But I was thinking about breastfeeding this time just to experience it and then I realized I am going back to work this time after my maternity leave and it'll be hard to be exclusively breastfeeding and being at work. Yeah. I feel like if I was a full-time stay-at-home mom, like then maybe, but I think I might try it at the hospital and see, if not maybe just breastfeed him for a little bit and then switch over to formula. Don't know yet. Yeah. We'll figure that out. We have, what's the biggest difference this pregnancy versus my first? So. Well, first off, this one is, this pregnancy has been really tough on her. She's been in pain like all the time. So, I mean, yeah, it was nothing compared to David. David was very easy on my body, but harder on my, like, I couldn't eat anything. I had less of an appetite with David. I oh, yeah. would constantly, I was sick longer, I would have food aversions, like I couldn't eat chicken for like the whole pregnancy. I had specific cravings, things like that. And David gave me heartburn like it was no other, like all yeah, the time. A lot of heartburn. But this one, it's been easier on my body in that way. Like I don't really have food aversions, nothing really sets me off, no smells set me off, nothing like that. But I also don't really have many cravings. Yeah, that's true. I'll get like occasional like a sweet tooth here and there, but that's about it. Um, but I'm in a lot of pain. I need more help this time around. And I mean, holding David, David's 30 pounds. So like, He's I feel like boy. also taking care of him has taken like toll on my body during this pregnancy and made it harder. Cause I'm also not able to rest as much as I was able to rest with David. Yeah. But overall, David's pregnancy was so much easier and I wish it was that easy again, <laughs> but it's okay. What are my cravings? I basically just answered that. I really don't have many cravings. I enjoy fruits like watermelon and grapes, but honestly, it's lots mm. of sweets. Like I just yeah. ate two packs of M&Ms. Yeah, it's a lot of candy this time. Candy and donuts and yeah, which is probably why I'm bigger this time around, but whatever. Will I miss my belly? Yes and no. <laughs> yes, because like, it's it's a pregnancy belly. I think pregnancy bellies are adorable and like, yeah, and all that. But like, but my belly is so heavy, <laughs> and I'm in pain. Yeah, nice to take some of the weight off. So that would be exciting to not be pregnant anymore. But I do enjoy being pregnant at the same time. So it's like a love hate relationship with me and pregnancy. <laughs> Any updates on my placenta? Yes. So if any of you have been following along at 20 weeks at my old, um, anatomy scan, we were told that I had placenta previa, I believe it's called, where your placenta is slightly covering your cervix. So there's basically no exit zone for the baby. So the baby can't come out naturally. Um, they were like, you know what? That usually moves. Baby could move it as he grows. Uh, we'll check again at 33 weeks, which we did last week, mm -hmm. and it has moved. It made progress, 
So it's cleared my cervix, but it's only one centimeter out of the way and it needs to be at least two in order to deliver naturally. So they're gonna check again at 36 weeks to see if it fully moved. And I'm hoping it did, because realistically, I would like to have another natural labor like I had with David. But if not, then I think we're gonna be scheduling a C-section. Yeah. So that's the update on that. Do you think baby boy will be born before his due date? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I do not think this boy is waiting till the 29th. David was born six days early. I went into labor a full week early and then he was born the next day, so six days early. Um, I do think this boy will be even earlier than that. I also hope he is, because yeah. he is definitely making it hard, but I do think so. This person wrote surrogate. So I'm assuming that's me, my views on it, if I would ever. And I've told Alex, like personally, like I would not do it for like, money in a sense of like, I don't know the person and I'm going through an agency to surrogate. If I had to do it, it would have to be because someone I really care about is struggling and I want to help a person I really care about. So if like one of my bestest friends, family members, someone that I know that can't have children needs the help, that's when I would be a surrogate because then I can still be a part of that child's life. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I would do it just to do it. Just like I wouldn't do it and get paid by an agency or any of that. I, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I would only do it for people I, I care about and know, because it's a lot to put on my body for someone that I don't know. Yeah. And I'm sorry if that sounds selfish, but... Have you done much shopping for the baby yet? No. No. What do we have for this baby? Knobs. <laughs> knobs. Yes, the furniture uh, knobs for the drawers came in. Um, we have a stroller. Um, Oh, no, no, yeah. We do have baby a Baby monitor. A baby monitor. We now have a mama room, thanks to Maddie. Um, clothes because of David's hand-me-downs, but we didn't buy any clothes for him. No. Some people had sent clothes, but that's really it. And that's all. We are not prepped. At all. Are we planning on having any more kids? Yes. I want one more. Yeah, one more. Three in total. And we're probably going to wait a little bit longer this time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to wait a year and then get pregnant again. I think it's going to be a little over a year because I think that's another reason this pregnancy is also pretty hard on my body is because I didn't give my body enough time to relax before jumping right back in. So yes, but I think there'll be more space in between. And also, I don't think I'd want three under three. I think that'd be really hard. Yeah. I think I would at least want David to be starting preschool or kindergarten and then go for a third. Hardest part about being pregnant, it's definitely the pain that's in all my body. My hip pain, hip pain really isn't fun. And kind of not being able to be self-efficient anymore. Like when yeah, I you, hit the point. Yeah, you kind of rely on everyone else to, to do this. Yeah. Like there's times where I'm like, I need to do the laundry. So I'll have to tell them the night before, can you make sure you take the laundry down for me when you go to work? And then if he forgets, then I don't do the laundry because I'm not risking. Because with David, I actually fell down the stairs, taking the laundry down the stairs. Mm -hmm. So I don't risk that anymore. So it's like, if he doesn't take the laundry down for me, it's not getting done. Um, obviously, like, he has to do the cat litter. He, you know, sometimes I need him to pick things up for me. Like today, we got Subway. And I couldn't reach it. It was like yeah, she couldn't the bag, I put it, like at the foot of the car, like I was in the bathroom seat, but at the foot of the car, and it like fell that it wasn't standing up anymore, and I couldn't, like my belly would not let me get it, so I was like, Alex. I was like, I was like, just get inside the house. I was like, I'll just go pick it up for you. Yeah, there's times I make him like put my socks on or stuff like that, but basically not being self, when you hit that not self, that point where you can't be self-efficient anymore, it's pretty, it's like, dang. Yeah. I just feel useless, You're like I can't do anything. How do we think David will act? Does he understand that he will be a big brother? He does not. He doesn't understand He doesn't at understand all. at all. I mean, he's only 19 months old. And every time I try to make him touch my belly, he just pulls away. Yeah, he won't, he won't give us, he won't give the attention to, to like just focus on, on your belly for, and just feel a kick or anything like that. No, but he also, he's great with other kids. We have friends who have babies mm -hmm. who are younger than him and he's very gentle and he's great with them. 
So I'm hoping that he'll do the same with his brother. Um, he, but I, we also have to keep in mind that David is a baby still himself. So we have to also realize like to be that, just have that awareness that he is not old enough to understand certain things. Mm -hmm. So we just have to kind of ease in and give him time to understand that there'll be forever another baby around and it's not just an hour visit that a friend's bringing over a baby. Yeah. Is baby's nursery done yet? I mean, we kind of touched on that now. We're yeah. still waiting on the furniture to come in, hopefully yeah. soon. I'm hoping by next week it'll be here and then we kind of can just get it done. Yeah, start moving in, start moving it in. Yeah, because we painted all the rooms when we did David's room. So like the room is freshly painted like light gray basically when David's room got mm -hmm. done. So we're just gonna leave it that. We're not gonna touch to an accent wall or anything. So like that's done. So it's basically just moving the guest room furniture out of the way and putting the new furniture in and- Yeah, and kind of just tying it all in together. Yeah, tying the theme together, which you'll see in an upcoming video when we do the nursery tour. Um, yeah, so that, and then putting all the clothes in the, putting all his clothes away. What were my symptoms? So I'm assuming that's my symptoms of like finding out I was pregnant. I had none. I really didn't. I had no yeah. symptoms that I was pregnant. We were actively trying, so that's why I knew to take a test because I was like, all right, we're actively trying. It's been a decent amount of time. I, I could probably test positive by now because we went to New York yeah, but I knew during that, in that entire week. I knew she was pregnant. Yeah, when we were in New York, he was like, you're pregnant already. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel anything. I don't feel nauseous. I don't feel, like, weak. I don't feel anything. So I just made sure I didn't drink. No, but there was one of them times where she was just like, she just felt off. And then when she would say that to me, that was instantly of just like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's, she's pregnant. I don't know. But it's funny because when I told everyone I was pregnant finally, like, in my family in New York, they were like, you look different. There was a different glow to you when you were here. We suspected mm -hmm. it. And I'm like, how did you guys suspect it? Were I was maybe a week pregnant. Yeah. Because we had just tried right before going. Yeah, I mean. Literally. So I'm like, how the heck? But they all knew. And they were right. Because we got back on that Tuesday. And we found out that Friday. Yeah. Andrew's almost names. So... What was in the running? Joseph was in the running. Yeah. Matthew was in the running. You wanted James. Mm-hmm. You threw James in there. I don't really know. I, don't I think that know. was really it. We like very classic <coughs> names for boys. Mm-hmm. And those were basically the other options. I kept throwing Andrew out there. Yeah, I didn't like Andrew for a while. And you then, didn't like David either for a while. Yeah. And then I and then eventually I would just get like would would David's name. We were throwing a bunch of names and he, I said David, cause I really liked how David Alexander rang, rang together. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then my cousins were visiting. They were like, David Alexander sounds like royalty. And then we just kept saying, oh, it sounds really royal. And then you were at work and I get a text saying, you know, I really like David. And then that was it. Yeah. And it's kind of the same thing happened with Andrew. I just threw it, but then I didn't bug him anymore. I just was like, you know, I really like Andrew. And then kind of just came along. Whew. What kind of Pampers do we use? Um, honestly, David can use like any brand besides Love's. It's the only one he's had a reaction to. Yeah. So in the beginning, we were pretty much exclusively using um, Pampers. Yeah, Pampers. I, I just don't know the name of it, but they were like the... Pampers. No, but didn't they have like a special name to them? Oh, the Swaddlers? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then we eventually found out about Up and Up, the Target brand, which mm -hmm. is a little cheaper. I mean, we used that for a while. We've used Tuggies. Lately, we've been using Aldi brand and CVS brand because we've had like coupons for it. And yeah, they've been good. They've been good too. So honestly, whatever we get and doesn't have a reaction, we'll use. Would... Would you ever get pregnant again and do a home birth? I would get pregnant again and no to a home birth. Yeah. No. I'm too scared. If you can do a home birth, I give you props. I can't. I feel like I'd be panicking. I I, I, I wouldn't want to see all that. <laughs> no, I'm good at the hospital. I feel like I'd, I feel more secure and God forbid something goes wrong, like all the help is there and I want my epidural. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I could do it, 
but I know a bunch of moms who have and I'm, they're pretty strong for doing it. Mm. Give them a lot of props because I couldn't do it, but they're really strong for doing that. I couldn't. How have you been since your fainting spells? Have you gotten any more? I have been doing better. I have been put on to iron pills because I have low iron and I haven't fainted since. No. But I have gotten lightheaded here and there, but nothing to the extent of Yeah, but not fainting. recently though. No, I've been really, really good, so. Yeah, these pills have been helping a lot. Yeah, and I've also been on top of like eating more red meats and mm -hmm. stuff like that that have high iron. So, thankfully, I've been doing good in there. Oh, those are all the questions. Well, thank you. And if you have any more questions, you can comment them down below and I'll answer them like in the comments. Yeah, and I'll try to comment on my own way. I'll try to put like edited by me. <laughs> so we can do, yeah, we'll do that. And also if you have any more video ideas that you'd like to see specifically, like nursery tour will be coming, a hospital bag video will be coming, a birth vlog will be coming. Yeah. Those are definite three videos that we will be doing. But if there's any others that you have in mind that you'd like to see while I'm still pregnant, comment them down below and we'll try to get to them. Um, and even if there's ideas for after baby, comment them and we'll try our best. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on that bell notification. Peace out.